Hi friends, we're doing a cheap diaper cake today. You're going to need diapers and rubber bands for this part. And you will need two small poster boards, which I purchased from Michaels. As you can see, I'm taking the diapers and I'm rolling them from the top of the diaper to the bottom of the diaper. And then I'm taking my rubber band and I'm just going to place this in the middle of the diaper where the yellow line is. And you want to make sure you, when you roll your diaper, you roll your diaper as tight as you can get it. For this part of the project, you will need eight diapers for each wheel. Next, take your poster board from Michaels, turn it upside down, start rolling, and make sure both of your poster boards are the same size. Then you're just going to take a rubber band and put it in the middle. And next, take some tape and just tape both ends down. For your Jeep platform, make sure you tape your box securely. Then you're going to take your blanket or tissue paper and just tape it to the bottom of the box nice and neatly. Now you're going to need some double-sided tape, and we're just going to put this right in the middle of our project. I particularly did not like this brand of double-sided tape. Um, I found it very challenging to use. So we're going to tape our washcloth, and we're just going to roll that, and we're going to hide our rubber band that we did place on our poster board before. And then we're going to get some more double-sided tape and just tape that together. So now that we have our washcloth secured with our double-sided tape, that looks nice. Now we're going to grab a diaper and we're just going to take the diaper and we're going to open it up and just start rolling very securely around our poster board and you want to try to make this as snug as possible then grab one of your rubber bands and you're just going to rubber band that around your poster board and next we're going to do the other side as well Have any of you made this type of diaper cake before? Do you have any tips that you can share with me, uh, well, with us here on YouTube? Feel free to write a nice comment below. Now this part is totally optional. I took two washcloths and I made it the same color and as you can see I'm just wrapping this around of the diaper I just put onto the poster board just for a little bit of color and to hide the diaper that I just put on. Like I said you do not have to do this um, it's totally optional but it does give your tire just a little bit of color. And you also want to make sure when you're rolling your washcloth, you try to get it nice and tight. And make sure your washcloths are both ending at the same place because then you're going to put this part of your wheels on your platform. Now we're going to grab our larger rubber bands and we're just going to place that around our washcloth and we're going to start inserting our roll diapers. And 
and as you can see, you can still see the navy washcloth I placed in there starting to give your tire just a little bit of color. And when you insert your diapers, you want to make sure the rolled part is towards your wheel and try to just make sure they're all straight while you're putting them over the bigger, bigger rubber band. And once again, these are eight diapers that you're going to need for the wheel. What do you think? All right, now we have one wheel done. We're going to repeat the process for the other wheel. We're just going to grab your large rubber band. Slip that over your washcloth and start adding your eight roll diapers. And don't forget to put the open side down and try to keep your diapers straight while you're inserting them into the wheel. Now we have both the wheels done. I have royal blue washcloths for one set of wheels and light blue washcloths for another set of wheels. So now this ribbon that I'm using, which I believe I purchased from AC Moore, there are two ribbons, a light blue one and then as you can see the polka dot ribbon. And to secure these ribbons to each other, I use glue dots and that's what I'm using to secure them to the bottom of the wheel. And you just want to push down on this to make sure they stay in place. This is coming along very nicely. Now I just wanted to show you I did put a glue dot on top of my ribbon. And you want to pull this real tight and make sure you cover your rubber bands and then you're just going to push on it and there you go and you can find that this turns easily in case you want to you know make sure both of your ribbons are on the bottom and I'm just putting this on top to see if both of my tires are even they look perfect. Now I took a bib and folded it in half and I took a roll diaper and I started off with the neck part of the bib and tightly rolled these together and we're making headlights so you're going to need four of these bibs. So now we have our headlights. We're just going to place that to the side. Next, this is the box the diapers came in. I took a marker and marked the outside of the box. Then I took a box cutter and cut that. And when you're cutting your box, don't get frustrated. It's not as simple as you think, unless you cut boxes on a regular basis. Then you're going to take the top or the side of the box and you're going to tape it to the top of the box as I'm doing now. And you just want to make sure this is secure while you're doing this process. And you may need to use several pieces of tape like I did just to secure your hood to the side of the car. What do you think? Do you have a better method in making the base of the car? Please leave a suggestion below. Next, we're going to insert our headlights. 
I did the two dark on the bottom and the two light wash gloss on top. I may change this. I may not. It looks like I am the dark on top and the light on the bottom. Then at first I took several diapers to put in the middle for the grill, but this was not enough. I wind up adding a little bit more diapers. And there was a small space between the headlights and the hood. So I'm going to add some diapers to the top as well. Okay, I wind up using about 10 diapers in the middle for the grill. And you're going to have to maneuver this around and, you know, get it the way you would like it. Now I'm going to turn this part of the project over to my friend. So we took out the headlights and the diapers, and now we're trying to work with this receiving blanket, which we purchased from Burles and Co. Factory. Just trying to get the blanket straight and straight as possible and straight one more time. You're going to have to play around with this a couple times before you get it just the way you like it. So as you see, we're trying to get it on the bottom and you're going to have to use regular tape for this. And just make sure the blanket is secure at the bottom. And now we have our car lined. Well, our Jeep line. Now we're going to take another receiving blanket and you're going to have to adjust this just to cover our hood. And as you can see, we used a lighter blanket in the front. And now we're going to adjust this a few times. We're going to put our lights in. So now we can put our diapers back in um, our grill for our Jeep. And just be very careful when you're putting them back in because it is cardboard. And you do already have your blanket already wrapped and taped in place. So you're going to have to adjust, readjust. Um, we did wind up adding some diapers to the top of the lights and right over top of the grill. Um, like I said, there is a little space right there. But it does look cute. It's, it's coming along nicely. What do you think? All right, now that we have our lights and grill in, we're just going to take a bib and we're just going to tuck this to give it a little hood decoration, I would say. And once again, we purchased these bibs from Burlington Coat Factory. That's cute. Perfect gentleman. Now we had an extra piece of cardboard. We're going to take another receiving blanket and we're going to fold that up just a little bit. 
and we're going to stick this in between the box. This is going to be our front seat and we left a little bit of the receiving blanket because we put uh, two packs of baby wipes in the back seat. So we did not want that to show. So that's why we left a little bit of receiving blanket out. Now, like I said, you can play around with it. You can do whatever you choose to. We were back and forth on what to do, how we wanted it. Was it a little too much? Was it a little too not enough? I wanted to leave the rest of this clip in instead of doing a fast forward because I wanted to show everyone it does take time and you may have to reposition your items in your Jeep several times. We added our little stuffed animal, then we took them out, then we changed it. Um, it does take time. We did add a bib, hello ladies to the back of the Jeep for a little detail. Now we're going to place our car on our wheels. Now we have a little Jeep and you must excuse the focus. We customized this baby Jeep and here's a few photos. The extra baby washcloths and hooded towels were placed inside along with packs of baby wipes. We also added the baby's name. We also added two more pacifiers to the lights. And we weren't too quite sure how we wanted the hood, so you will see a different look at the end of the video. But I want to thank you for watching Sassy Crafting Mama. Please like, subscribe, and share this video. Thank you.